Election 2011 coverage on Manx Radio. Brought to you by PDMS. Now, with Nominations Day approaching, we have three election candidates in the studio this morning, the first of which, Accountant Laurie Hooper, contesting the two-seat constituency of Ramsey. He only declared 48 hours ago. He says he's disappointed by what he calls a lack of forward planning by government and says it has to stop focusing less on Douglas and more on Ramsey as a place for people to live and work. Good morning. Good morning. First of all, you live in Douglas, so why stand in Ramsey? Well, I, I grew up in, in Ramsey, really. It's where I went to school. I went to the grammar school when I moved over here 12 years ago. So I really feel that most of my life has been spent sort of in Ramsey, in the town of Ramsey. Uh, all my friends live up there. That, it's, just, it's just where I'm from. It's really. where you consider home. Yes, you exactly. You say Ramsey's been overlooked for, for too long by Timwell. That... In the last six or seven years, that there's been two new schools, there's been new housing, a big redevelopment of the Lazare Estate, new swimming pool, I think there's a hotel on the way as well, a bowling alley. That's a million pounds worth of investment, much of it from government. Yeah, but I think the main problem that Ramsey has is there's not enough business being sort of pushed into Ramsey. So you've got people living there, which is brilliant, but all the business, all the new business seems to be coming to Douglas. And I think a lot of that needs to go to Ramsey to keep the, the people working in Ramsey so you can live there and work there. Keeps a lot of the money kind of on the high street in Ramsey as well. That, that's quite important. I think that's what's been overlooked. Does the state of the main town street, Parliament Street, concern you? A, a little bit. I mean, when I was growing up there, it always seemed like it was, it was it was a nice place to live and it was a nice town, but then, so if you go away to university and you come back, and every time you keep coming back and it's always the same, everything seems to be getting a little bit worse every year, and, and you, you just feel that maybe they could be doing a little bit more to kind of improve the look and the feel of the town. You're 24, the, the youngest candidate so far, nominations close on Tuesday, of course. Do you think your age could work for or against you with the electorate? Well, I'm really hoping it'll work for me, if I'm going to be honest. I mean, I think it, it, it'll, it'll let me bring kind of a fresh new perspective. Realistically, what can you offer to politics? at the age of 24? A lot of enthusiasm. I think that's that's important. Enthusiasm, new ideas and, and drive and energy, I think. They're, they're the really key things we're going to be needing over the next couple of years and I think that's what I can bring. And, and your background's in accountancy. How will that prove beneficial? Well, there's all the financial challenges ahead. I'm sure that's not going to harm it in any case. Is yeah. there a danger you could be more preoccupied with figures than people, though? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. I mean, I don't find that most of my job revolves around figures. I mean, that's quite a common misconception with accountants anyway. So I, I think that my job has actually given me a lot of the skills I'm going to need, especially when it comes to dealing with people and running small projects, that kind of thing. How are you intending to engage with younger voters? Because obviously 16-year-olds now can vote, or they could last time, and they're not that much younger than you, so perhaps you may have an advantage there over some other candidates. That, that, that is quite possible, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm really hoping to get to try and see if I can get some of the young vote in on board. I just really think maybe I, I need to kind of engage with them a lot, maybe talk to them, see what they think, see how they feel. See if I can maybe just encourage them to turn up and vote. That'll be a definite bonus. Would you have voted at that age? Would you have voted at 16? If I was, if I was able to, yeah, I, I think I definitely would have voted at 16. Now, you say that the two previous Ramsey MHKs have lost your trust and don't believe they have the right attitude towards the island's future. That, that's a very sweeping statement, isn't it? Justify that. Well, I think that... I mean, both of them are ministers, so I think they've definitely lost a lot of the, the time they could have spent sort of focusing on Ramsey and they've focused more on kind of government as a whole. But Ramsey's had that big investment I told you about. Yeah, that, no, that is true, but again, I think the investment might not have been in the right areas. I mean, it's great that we've got a bowling alley and they've built a new swimming pool, but I think that the lack of business investment in Ramsey is what, what is, 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 is the issue. They need more more business investment up there. The new schools must impress you, surely. The, the new schools? Um, the, the primary school is actually quite nice. It's where my mother works, and I think it's, it's definitely a, a, a nice school, and definitely the New Albert Road School as well. It's very similar. Uh, yeah, they, they've, they've done a good job there, I think. What, what about the next Chief Minister? You, you say you can bring a young, enthusiastic drive to proceedings. Obviously, we need someone at the helm with their experience. Yeah, I, I definitely would agree with that. I think that um, when, when the Chief Minister is chosen by the MHKs, which is one thing I think is probably wrong, I think he should definitely be directly elected by the people. But as it stands, the MHKs are going to choose the Chief Minister. And yeah, I think someone who's had a bit of experience, a bit of wisdom is definitely needed. How, how will you get round or attempt to get round Ramsey in the, the limited time left available to you? Well, I'm going to be spending most evenings up in Ramsey, so straight from work up to Ramsey, just try and get around as many people as possible, especially over the weekends, bank holiday week, I'm, I'm going to be up in Ramsey, uh, kind of knocking on doors, just trying to get some sort of interaction with the local people, get some views, get some opinions. It's very admirable, but wouldn't it have been better to have stood closer to home? See, I don't, I don't really think it makes that much difference where I live if in, in Douglas. It's only a 20-minute drive up, up to Ramsey, so it's not, it's not like it's going to take a lot of time out of my campaigning. And like I said before, I feel a lot closer to Ramsey than I do to where I live in Douglas. And, and just finally, if elected next month, would you move to Ramsey? Well, that's something that I've been asked before, and me and my wife are already considering moving to Ramsey, even if I'm not elected. It's, not, it's nothing to do with the election. So it is quite likely if I'll be in Ramsey next year regardless, anyway, regardless. regardless. Yeah. Laurie Hooper, thank you very much for your time Thanks very morning. much for having me. Thank you.